This looks stupid. In 2007, we got Ratatouille, or some may call it rat a tu e This movie was, and still is to this day, one of my favorite Disney Pixar films. From the classic era, that is. Yeah, these days we got Luca and Turning Red. Both great movies, by the way, and I did enjoy them, don't get me wrong. But there's just something about these older movies that are just some of my favorites. I don't know what it is, if it's the animation style, the character designs, the music, or even the setting of the movie taking place in Paris! And of course, this is the early 2000s, you know, the time Disney was just like, Make all our movie into game. And so, within the same year of the movie's release, we got Ratatouille, the game. Or as the game cover calls it, Ratatouille. rat a tu -i. <laughs> Though I still wish I had the Nintendo DS version of the game to compare what that version had to the PS2 version, which is the version I'm going to be talking about today. Because the series is called PlayStation 2 Classics, get it? Now from what I remember of the DS version, it was pretty much just mostly the same, being a 3D platformer with some cooking minigames to go along with it. You know? BECAUSE THE GAME IS BASED ON CHEFS! Now we're gonna be talking about the PlayStation 2 version of the game, which has 3D platforming and cooking minigames to go along with it. THERE'S NOTHING DIFFERENT! It's the case. It's been damaged because of one of the sticker prices. Look, I didn't even bother removing this one on the back. It's not a bad image color, because it also tells you what you're about to go through in the game. No, not really. You turn the cover on the other side and it gets you more info about the actual game. <laughs> Action and a new flavor. Oh boy, I can't wait to taste that knuckle sandwich. Bro, I wonder what ingredients it'll have. I taste a hint of mayonnaise in there. Six massive worlds, huh? It'll be a very big game to have six small 3D open worlds to explore. The How Long To Beat website claims that the game's six hours long, though I've heard others say that the game can be beat within three to four hours. Anywho, let's just plop this bad boy into my PS2 and relive my childhood! And as soon as I finish streaming the game for the first time, over on Twitch by the way, go follow me on that, the game had no audio. Me. Well, I guess I'll have to give out my thoughts straight away then. The game is pretty much just like the movie. You play as Remy the Blue Rat. You start off at this old house as a tutorial level, and once you get through the window where you can hear this old snore, you fall out the window and you're tempted to be shot. Well, you try to escape the grasp of this wild woman, and your father praising the Lord. Is that what he's doing? After this incredible sequence that was 100% easy to play, Nah, man! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, the controls, why, why are they so slippery? Catch him, boy! Catch him! We know you're not gonna catch him. I've seen the movie. Oh my god, these controls. These controls. Oh my god. Bruh, go! You end up in the sewers and you make your way to Gusto's restaurant. And then you go back into the sewers only to find your... Your... Your family? Wait a minute. In the movie we don't get to see the family for another few minutes, but in the game... They're already here. And not only that, but it's also the first thing that happens before meeting the human leads. I'm sorry, but did the developers of this game not know anything about the movie before making it into a game? I was told in the stream chat that apparently Ratatongs, the game, came out two to three days before the movie's released. I assume they didn't know anything about the movie and therefore it is like this? Uh, that or they're just remaking the movie into the game in its own way of telling the story. But man, let's forget about the game story. After all, we have a movie for that and it does it better than the game. Anywho, back to the- What the f- <laughs> What the f- Okay, so after I recorded my second half of the game, I ran into a few issues. At the time of playing and recording the game footage, I was rendering a video. You may have seen it by now. So I thought to myself, I'll delete the two hour footage of the game thinking it would be sent to the recycling bin as everything does when you delete it off of your desktop or your computer. After I did the rendering, I got the raw footage gone, I went back into the recycling bin thinking that the footage would be there. But it f***ing wasn't! 
I lost two hours of footage, and by the way, it was the ending to the game! So unfortunately I cannot show you gameplay, but I can tell you what I thought of it, and it f***ing sucks. The ending to the game is just very sudden, and again, it doesn't follow the actual ending to the movie. It skips so many things from the movie, including the plot twist where Luigi over here is the son of Gusto. Instead, they just have you solve puzzles to progress with the game. Which isn't a bad thing, like I do enjoy some of the cooking minigames. And by some, I mean only the potato peeling one. Spam it! Just spam! Just spam! Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm cooking! Oh! Look at me, man! I'm a good old chef! Oh! Look at me go, man! Look at me go! I'm such a pro chef! I did it! Great job! Do not do that with knives! Don't do that with knives, kids! Don't do that! The Crash Bandicoot levels are hard as f I died many times in two of these levels, those two being the ones from the ending. The controls are okay, I guess. They do respawn about 90% of the time, though the sliding moments? They are the absolute worst. In the second video that I recorded before I decided to go visit the Shadow Realm for life, they had some extra slide moments down there, and those slide moments just had so many tight turns, and with the speed that you're moving, the game makes it possible to turn. I found out last minute that you can actually hold down the control stick so you can slow down the speed of you going. This was not told via the game. Overall, it was an enjoyable game. Would I play it again? No. Ratatongs is definitely a game I'd rather keep for myself for nostalgia reasons and because I love physical copies of old games. I still watch the movie, it definitely hands down does the story way better than the game. And if you think this is the only Disney Pixar game that we got for the series, <laughs> well, you just wait till we got these. Anywho, now that I finally got Ratatongs finally out of the way, I can finally go give this toy rat to someone who actually owns a cat. Oh. Oh mon ami rat, tu ne m'as coûté qu'un euro quatre-vingt. Votre objectif est enfin atteint. Attendez.